Ladies and gentlemen, do you want to change your life? Most of us live under our potential. We live on autopilot. We do things so repetitive that it becomes so natural to us. Can we be blamed for this? No, because we live in a world full of distractions and it's constantly changing. Can we do something about it? Absolutely. When I was 12 years old, I lost my father. And when he died, I lost my confidence. I didn't believe in myself. I grew up very shy. And that behavior deprived me from many opportunities, like promotions at work, earning more money, creating relationships with people that I really like. And I didn't want that for my generation. I wanted a mindset of abundance. One day when I was scrolling through my phone looking for some music to listen to on YouTube, I came across a man in a suit. And his name was Jim Rohn. And Jim said something that made a discovery in myself. He said, if you don't like how things are, change them. I stopped and I asked myself, I can do that? I guess I can do that. Right there and then I realized that I had the human potential to change my life around. I immediately started doing personal development and because of that I was able to find my willpower and I completely fell in love with the process. The emotion of learning new things every day like how to be a better father, how to be a better speaker, how to be a better leader. It was amazing. And then it hit me. I realized that all I wanted to do for the rest of my life was to teach personal development along with leadership. All I wanted to do was to speak and share with the world the process of achieving a better life. I found my motive to keep pushing forward. And I knew I was on the right path because later on I was able to leave a job that I held for 21 years just to follow my motive. Now was it easy? Absolutely not. I was terrified. I had no idea what was going to happen. People that I loved was telling me, you're crazy. You're insane. You can't leave this life behind. Now statistically speaking, they were right. Because no one in our family had broken the cycle of leaving a poor and average mentality. And because of that, I was forced to make a decision. Now I decided to move forward, of course. But the decision to change my generation's life cost my marriage. Friends that I really cared for, they were no longer there because we had nothing in common. Now, that didn't really matter because I was on a huge mission. I took action. I started reading books. I hired coaches. I started networking with high-minded people. I found mentors. And I realized that as I was changing, others were changing around me too. For example, my daughter. When she was 21 years old, she said, Dad, can you help me open up an online t-shirt store? I want to be an entrepreneur. That was something that never crossed my mind when I was her age. And to see that her mind was shifting, I knew that whatever I was doing and whatever I was sharing, it was working. Other people started to get curious. They started to ask how you did that. How do you become a speaker? How was you able to write a book with motivational speaker Les Brown? How did you leave a job after 21 years? How you did that? I had no idea how I was bringing change to my life. I was on autopilot. Change was happening so fast that I had no time to think. Can you relate to that? When people started asking, what are you doing to achieve your objectives? I stopped. And I said, okay, what am I really doing to achieve my objectives, to, to bring success? That is when I discovered the six laws. I found out that there are six laws that we must apply if we want to be successful in achieving any goal, any objective that we want. Now I'm going to share the six laws with you today. But before I do that, I want to ask you, did you notice the six laws in my speech? If your answer is no, then be aware because you might be on autopilot. Let me share the six laws that's going to help you achieve any objective you want when you apply them. Law number one is your human potential. Know that you can do whatever you want to do. It's possible. 
Law number two is your willpower, the option to say yes or no, to go after your objectives. Law number three is emotion. How do you feel? What is this emotion telling you? Should I stay or should I go? Law number four is your motive, that burning desire inside of you, the motive to go after, achieve, whatever you want to achieve. Law number five is decision. You must make a decision to go after your objectives. Now, is it gonna be easy? Probably not, but do it anyways. Law number six is action. You must take action. Because if you don't, nothing happens. When we apply these six laws without neglecting one of them, we will find success. But if we miss one, just one, then we can kiss our success goodbye because it's not going to happen. How do I know this? Because there has been many times in my life where I neglected at least one of the laws. And guess what? Success was never found. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to be aware of the six laws. It's time to stop living on autopilot. It's time to apply the six laws without missing one so that you can achieve any objective that you want and you can have the life that you deserve. Thank you very much.